Hi everyone, it's Mike Rogers once again with a Refuge Daily for you. At this Christmas time, I want to give thanks and praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who came down on that blessed day that we celebrate during this time. A Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I give thanks and praise to him for what he's done for us and what specifically he's done in my life. I pray that he has also done that for you in your life, which is to give you eternal life through the forgiveness of your sins, the reason why he came, the purpose that he fulfilled when he went to the cross. Um, I just want to thank God for that. But I also want to share with you just a little bit um, from Isaiah's uh, book in chapter 7, verse 14. It says, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and call his name Emmanuel. So common a verse for us Christians or those who read the Bible uh, are very familiar and that word, that name Emmanuel means God with us. And so God actually came down and was was with us. What a blessing that is. And yet I can't go through a Christmas time with all the joy and laughter, with all the beauty of being able to spend time with family and friends and enjoying the, uh, the glitter and glamour of the lights and the trees and uh, all the different decorations and those things are, are very, very joyous and, and, and I enjoy them even though they're material. Uh, they, they do bring a certain amount of uh, pleasure and happiness. Uh, but at the same time, I can't help but think of people who aren't having a Merry Christmas. That Christmas time to them is very difficult. I have read that, that some of the psychiatrists are overloaded during this time with people who just don't think that they could get through this time. They're having a difficulty because they're not they're not happy, they're not merry. And perhaps some of them don't know the Lord, but maybe even some of them do and they have the difficulty of feeling alone. And here we see that even Isaiah had written that this was going to happen, that, that a virgin should conceive her son and it, it, they would call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And now we know, of course, as we read the Gospels and we see in Luke and Matthew and the birth of the child, that that was Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ, our Messiah, our, our Lord and Savior, the, the, our, our blessed Redeemer. And so um, I pray that we would be sensitive to those who might be having a difficult time and perhaps even be able to reach out to some that might feel a little bit lonely during this time. Uh, if that's you, I pray that you would, uh, as you read God's word, as you pray to the Lord, that you would also recognize that he is with us and that you're never alone. Certainly at the body of Christ, uh, at, at, in the fellowship that we have at Refuge, we love the people coming in and enjoying the celebration that we're able to have, not just at Christmas time, but all year long about what God has done for us in our lives, learning more of him and, and what his purpose is for us. So I pray that that would encourage you as well to perhaps look around and see that there are some that aren't having as a Merry Christmas as we may be having, but uh, but also recognizing and perhaps you could share with them from the Gospel of John in, in chapter 10 where it says, I have come that they may have life and that, the, and that they may have it more abundantly. And that was Jesus himself saying that. That's the reason why he came. Of course, what he's talking about there in, in what I read there is he's, he's really ultimately talking about the eternal life that we get when we have received what he has done for us when by faith we have accepted what he has done for us on the cross we believe that he died and rose um, and he ascended into heaven and that he has gone to prepare a place for us and that place that he's prepared for us is for all eternity and so we're never going to be alone the life that he has planned for us is more abundant than anything that we can plan for ourselves and hopefully that would help somebody get through this difficult time of Christmas I think Christmas is such a beautiful time that people actually step a little bit further into helping others perhaps that's you and perhaps there's an opportunity for you to, to be able to speak to a neighbor today uh, tomorrow uh, some some sometime down the line that you would be able to share with them the good news that Jesus Christ that God himself has come to us and and uh, he was born on that what we celebrate as Christmas Day and his name is Emmanuel and that is God 
that is with us. So praise the Lord, and I pray that you have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all, and to all a good afternoon. God bless you.